Well, here there, everyone. I'm Dr. Ken Ned. I hope you can hear me. I'd like you to just write in the um, answer back on the right. Mm -hmm. Just write if you can hear me. Say yeah. And we're about to start. Uh, this um, program is going to give you some good ideas to help you with your life. And the ideas that you get are going to be practical ideas. So actually, from this little time together, you can change your life. So I want you to take it seriously, because stress is a big deal. Did you know that um, 600 thousand $600 billion is the cost of stress to industry and it's costing us even though we don't think so. So uh, I want to share with you today some very important things. So let's slow down here because you know when it comes to stress I get so so um, excited because you know I get to work in an area of stress where I get to see how amazingly powerful we are as human beings. You know, medications, and I do prescribe medications as a doctor, that, that's great. But you, the power, the real treasure of your life is within you. And this little time is going to help to unearth some of that power that you can bring to the forefront of your life and make your life sparkle so that from this you can probably get better ideas. You will get better ideas so that you will make more money, for example. You will be healthier and you will be able to conduct your life better. So let me ask you, What's what's your interest? What would you like to get from this? What is stress doing to your life? Think about that for a moment. Uh, is it driving you to drink a little bit more? Is it driving you to insomnia? Do you find you've got back pain? What is stress doing to your life? Because it does things. Let me tell you something uh, quickly before I give you the fourth powerful techniques that I want to share with you. Uh, I grew up in a little island called Barbuda. It's the best kept secret in the world. Barbuda is a place where uh, they're probably, it's not spoiled by any sort of civilized invention. Uh, beautiful beaches, beautiful landscape and what I want to tell you is that my mother uh, and I were there and suddenly we got a message that my mother's favorite sister passed away. Now, she was very, very close to this woman and she got a message that came. Someone said, your sister B passed away. Now, my mother was totally healthy, laughing and feeling great. But after she heard that, she started nausea, vomiting, abdominal pain, numbness in the legs. And, and, and she just physically was incapacitated. And for the next two days, she couldn't eat, she couldn't drink. And we were beginning to wonder about her survival. She was really, really sick. And then another message came by and it said sister B passed your way and then we realize that she is not really dead that she the, the message was misread so from the stress of thinking that she lost her sister my mother became very sick and we had to get doctors and they were puzzled so I want to impress upon you that stress does not just make you anxious and tense, but it has phys physical or physiological consequences on your body. Because just as my mother 
heard that her sister was now passing that way. She's going to come and visit her. Suddenly, the cytokines and the leukocytes and all those chemicals in the body just receded and she got better. So, stress is doing something. That's my point. I hope you got my message there. Now, what I want to do today is to give you a little kit. A little kit, okay? Are you ready? Come on. If you're ready, write, yeah. Come on. Say, yeah. Okay? And I'm going to give you a kit that will help you to never, ever be stressed out again. You see, it is easy to be pleasant and to be calm when everything is okay. But how about when you're hit by trouble and your heart begins to beat? and the thoughts begin to flow, and worries begin to you know, populate your life, that's when you need your stress technique. So I'm going to give you A, B, C, D, E. I'm going to give you some things that I want you to rem remember. And the A stands for arousal. Now, arousal, what happens on the stress is that a, you are aroused, your muscles are tense, you know, 680 muscles are tense, and your attention is, is sort of focused on the outside. So we call that in medicine, and pause to get this, I really want you to get this now, it's your sympathetic tone, because the sympathetic tone, can you write that? Make sure now that you've turned off your cell phone and you're ready, you're really and fully with me, okay? Your sympathetic tone is going to be high in life. That means your attention is tense and it means your muscles are tight. It means that you are looking, saying, oh my gosh, I have so many emails. I've got so much things, so many things to do. That's your sympathetic nervous system. Now, I've got to teach you something, right? Not just give you a technique. So you've got to know the basis behind it. So when a stressor, are you with me, affects your brain, the sympathetic tone, meaning the body, the physiology, is raised. And in that state, you tend to wear yourself out, don't you? Just tense your body now, and pretty soon you'll be tired. And that's what we're doing. Maybe not at a, a sort of total level, but subtotal, as it were. We are often very tense, not just in the muscles, though, but also in the inner workings of the body. And that's the first thing, the A, the arousal of the body, the higher, the heighten, heightening of the sympathetic tone in the body. Now, let me back up here and tell you that in your body, there is the the, the, the autonomic nervous system, you know, automatic, it just goes on automatic. All the things that feed the body are automatic, it's just going on. And what you have to do, you know, you have to learn to interject with your brain, with your techniques that I'm going to teach you, and try to get back your physiology to the state where you are healthy, and you're able to think. You see, that's what I want you to do today. So um, the autonomic nervous system has two levels, the sympathetic tone and the parasympathetic tone. Okay, say that with me. Just say it. You learn it. You sound great. The sympathetic tone and the parasympathetic tone. Hey, the parasympathetic tone is the tone that governs the body. It governs your body. You see, it sort of makes your body uh, function better. But guess what? You're so busy making money. You're so busy maybe catering to your boss or to your kids. That's the sympathetic tone that you forget, the parasympathetic tone, which is the tone that cleanses and nourishes and heals the human body. 
Okay, so what I want to do is to get rid of this arousal in the sympathetic tone, that's your A, and bring it to the parasympathetic. Focus more inwards so you have an inner connection with your body and you will be able to relax even if the pressures around you are great. So A is arousal. What can you do? When your sympathetic tone is high, the first thing I want you to do is to basically turn up from this seminar, from this time together. I want you to learn to turn up your awareness, turn up the awareness of self, the awareness of what's going on inside. Take a little time to focus inside. Take a little time to say to yourself, how is my heart? How, how is my, my body functioning? Just focus inside. Just, just globally think of your body. And when you focus in a calm way on your body, that alone will decrease the arousal in the body. You see, the power of attention is great. So that's it. Turn up your attention a little bit today. You can see my hand, I hope. My fingers here. Turn up the wick of your attention. Make sure that you turn it up. But your attention must be focused inside, not just outside on all the things you have to do. Remember, that's the sympathetic. But when you turn up and focus inwards, that's the parasympathetic, and that will calm and nourish the body. Okay, let me show you another way to do that, another technique. So the, your first technique is under the general term that we are aroused by stress, arousal. And you're going to turn up the wick of your attention and you're going to focus inside to sort of decrease the arousal of your physiology. Now, what other technique, one other technique I want you to learn is a technique of tension. You see, when stress hits us, guess what? We get tense and we begin to think, oh my gosh, I'm so tense. Oh, come on, Cynthia, relax, come on. Mark, relax, come on. And, and, and when you do that, effort defeats itself. So the technique I want to teach you today, I want to share with you, and it will change your life. Whenever you find yourself getting tense, I want you to tense, okay? Let's suppose you find that your boss is putting pressure on you and your lover isn't showing her affection towards you and you're getting a little bit upset and you're getting tense. What you do, you don't say, oh my gosh, I'm getting tense, relax. No, you tense. You tense your body. You make a fist, bring your shoulders to your ears, and at the same time, you can take a deep breath. But basically, it's the tension. Hold it for a while, and then when you relax, the tension will go away. So you see, you've got two techniques in the A now. The first one, what are you going to do? You're going to go away from this little webinar. Yay. And you're going to change your life by turning up the wick of your attention and learn to focus it inwards so that the body doesn't have to scream out at you before you take note. Okay, that's the first thing. And the second thing is that whenever you feel tense, mostly in your muscles and in your body, don't try to relax. The best technique and the quickest is to tense your body first, take a deep breath, and then relax. That's the A. Okay? Uh, are you with me? If you're with me, say yeah. Just write that on your screen. Say yeah. Okay? And, and we'll continue now. I want to um, make sure that you learn these techniques. The second thing is the B. And I guess you know what B stands for. B is your breathing. Breathing is the basic rhythm of life. And you've got to get it under control. You see, when you have, uh, when you have 
stress, your breathing tends to get out of control. And the breathing is one of the functions of the body that you can easily control and that has it a mind of its own as well. So it's attached to the automatic system as well as to the voluntary system. That's why it's so important. So what I want you to do is to breathe. For heaven's sake, breathe. Okay, don't just breathe sort of uh, automatically, especially when you're on the stress and you do your tension. Take a deep breath in through your nose. Why through your nose? Because when you do that, you tend to be calmer. So you breathe in deeply in through your nose. And as you breathe out, remember to extend the out breath. So you breathe in. Do it with me, breathing in. Really breathing in. And as you breathe out, you extend the out breath. Okay, that's what I would like for you to do. So you breathe in and you extend the out breath and that will cause the muscles to relax further and it will cause 25% more oxygen to go to the brain and that will enable you to think. And if you want to be a master, if you want to make a lot of money, you're going to have to think. Because money is made today not so much by doing, but by thinking. It's what you think. And you can train your brain with this simple exercise. So you've got the two techniques here. The first technique I want to teach you is the A, where you decrease your arousal by tensing, and the B, by learning how to breathe. When you breathe, you extend the out breath, you breathe in through your nose. And don't waste your breathing. Whenever you breathe, do this. Focus on your body. Focus on the tension that you might be feeling. So let's put these two together and let's use them as a technique that will really devastate your stress, take all your stress away. Okay? Are you with me? All right. So the first thing, let's just suppose that the stress is coming into your life. Okay? You find that it might be a work problem or it might be home. It might be with kids because dealing with kids can be stressful, can't they? Can't it? And so what I would like you to do is to imagine your stress. What is it? What's, what is likely to stress you out? Imagine it happening. And the first thing I want you to do now is to tense. Make a fist. Take a deep breath. Bring your shoulders to your ears. And as you breathe in, remember to breathe in through your nose. Hold it. Hold it. And as you breathe out, you relax your arms. You relax your legs. You relax all your body. And you will find that the tension will decrease significantly. Now you've got to practice that. Okay? So you've got these two techniques that you can put together. Okay? Now make sure that you can ask me any question you want because this is practical. This is for you. I'm giving you ideas about stress, but my ideas are practical. You see, right now, before I go to the other techniques, I want to make sure that I show you how to um, actually examine what stress is doing to you and to your physiology. So are you with me? Suppose somebody asks you, what is stress? Okay, that's what we're going to address right now in the next just two minutes. What is stress? You see, people take years to learn what stress is, but you're going to learn it in just two minutes. For stress, here's what you need. You need a stressor. You need things happening in your life. You need to be racing to the top of your profession. You need to be making money. You know, these activities are quite stressful, especially when you're doing several things at once. Multitasking is stressful. Okay, remember that. So focus on this, on me alone, right here, right now. So when these things 
happening, stress is the way you perceive them. If you perceive that you can handle them, they won't be stressful. So with these techniques that I'm giving you, you will absolutely go away, absolutely go away from this webinar feeling that you can handle it. And I want you to say these um, three words with me. I can handle that. Okay, say it with me. Come on, come on. I can handle that. And that's what you're going to say whenever a stressor comes. So a stressor, lots of difficulties, hardships, insults, effort, you know, pressure from the boss, whatever it is, those are stressors. And the way you perceive it, I can handle that. And then you, your response, which is stress, because stress is the response in your physiology. So when you respond, you respond with calmness, with efficiency, and with internal power. And you respond with those two exercises that you've learned. Somebody says, you're a fool, you're a stupid fool, and you're feeling a little bit tense, stress, you tense. Take a deep breath in through your nose, and as you breathe out, you just let go. Let the tension go. And more oxygen will go to the brain. More oxygen and you'll be able to handle yourself better. So you've learned what is stress. Stress is the response in your body. When you are faced with stressors and you perceive that those stressors are going to be beyond your ability to handle or to control. So the trick is to say, I can handle that. And you know what? I got some great news for you. Aren't you excited? by the power that you have. Sometimes I'm so excited that in my office, I, 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 I forget that I can order prescriptions. I put so much confidence in the human body because I've seen people. I had a patient sent to me, for example. She was sent to me with three weeks to live and she lived for 25 years, basically by doing techniques that will heal her body. Techniques of breathing and decreasing tension and techniques of changing the chemistry of her body. And you can do all that. I tell you, we have taught rats, rats to lower their blood pressure. And if rats can learn, you can learn. So be excited today that you can actually affect your body. So there you are, okay? driving to work, you're driving to work and somebody cuts you off and you look and you, you feel really tense because you're already late, okay? You're already late and you're tense. No, when you're like that, don't continue. From now on, you're going to tense your body. You're going to take a deep breath in and as you breathe out, you're going to say, I can handle that. I can handle that. And now, Let's move on and add a third technique that I want you to use to beat stress, okay? I want you to use these techniques and I want you to remember them. The third one is circulation. Your circulation, now you might be young if you're like, like 20 or in your 20s, you might think that circulation is not um, relevant to you right now. I'm telling you that it is because we have had patients who uh, uh, die, and they actually die because of the pressure of stress on the heart and on the, the systems of the body. So I want you to learn how to manage your circulation on the stress. Okay, here's a little lesson, okay? The little lesson is that here's your fingers. The fingers, whenever you're on the stress, the circulation or the blood tend to move away from the fingers, move away from the extremities and the extremities get cold. So what you want to do is to learn how to warm the fingers. And I have a little statement that I've taught all up 
all over the world. People in New York are saying it. People in London are saying it all over. And it's my little statement that I'm sharing with you. Say it with me and write it down. My arms and legs are heavy and warm. My arms and legs are heavy and warm. That's a little technique. Can you say it one more time so that it is riveted? It is sort of embedded in your physiology. Say it and mean it. My arms and legs are heavy and warm. And when you have that, you sort of abort the stress response, okay? You abort the stress response. And let me sell you this technique. Let me make sure that you know that when you use these techniques, you are improving 50 trillion cells in your body. 50 trillion cells. That's what makes you who you are. And that's where the focus should be. Here you are, a young person. You want to, to advance in your work. You want to be rich. You want to have a beautiful relationship with your spouse. You want to have lots of fun. You want to have, be independently wealthy so that you can walk along the Champs-Élysées or Porte Venus and whatnot. You, you should be able to do that. But you know, the real treasure is not to wear yourself out, but rather to learn how to develop what I call physiological harmony and physiological joy. Aren't you excited that you can have real internal joy as you go along and, and, and you will be able to do more even by doing less. You will be able to achieve more because you'll be more powerful with these techniques. And I can give you thousands of examples of people. I mean, I met one woman the other day who said to me, you know, I was so poor, but now I have houses on rent in just three years because you've taught me how to slow down, slow down my movements and do these techniques that will help me to bring myself more fully and more powerfully to my life and to my work. I sincerely want you to really profit from this, not just physiologically, yeah? You'll have a refined and integrated physiology, but I want you to profit from your work. I want you to, from these techniques, connect inwardly so that you'll have more love for yourself more love, more respect, you see, when you relax is about the best gesture of kindness to yourself that you can give. And from doing that constantly, you learn to be kind and loving to other people. And that is to the degree to which you can do that, you will be able to help other people because you will care and you will be able to rise both financially, physiologically, and socially. Okay, so you've got that technique now that I'm telling you, the tension, then the breathing, A, B, and now you've got C. How do you actually change your circulation? When a stress or an unpleasant event hits you, you're going to add the change in your circulation because you know the blood will flow away from your arms and legs and you're going to say with a nice big powerful smile you're going to say quietly my arms and legs are heavy and warm and when the boss opposes you when your co-workers put you down when you get a bad report from the doctor when you've got to wait and you're irritated, when your spouse doesn't seem to love you, you will be able to tense and breathe and you will be able to say, my arms and legs are heavy and warm. Because it makes no sense if you're under stress, it makes no sense to stress yourself, Father. It makes sense to use these stressors, these events that are unpleasant, and they crop up in your life. It makes sense to use these events as cues, as reminders 
to do the technique that will enrich your body and give you a, a, a creative physiology, a refined physiology. And that's what will happen to you. You'll find that as you get older, your body and your physiology will get even better. So how do you put these three together? Okay, so a stressor comes to you and the first thing, let's suppose somebody insults you. Uh, you say, uh, you tense. You say, tense, bring your shoulders to your ears. Now, if it's a situation where you can't tense your hands, tense your back or tense your buttocks or tense your legs. But tension is very, very useful. So tense and take a deep breath in through your nose. And as you breathe out, focus on your arms and your legs and feel the blood flowing back into your arms and legs. Just focus on your arms because the legs will happen. It will happen in your legs automatically. So you focus on your arms and you say, my arms and legs are heavy and warm and actually feel it happening. So let me, I hope you can see me here. If I'm getting a little bit tense, wondering whether you're getting anything from this, I take a deep breath as I tense my shoulders a bit. And as I breathe out, I say my arms and legs are heavy and warm. And I extend the out breath. Because when I extend the out breath, more oxygen goes to the brain and I think with greater power. So you've got those three techniques, okay? The A, the arousal, tension, and you have that arousal and you focus inwards. And B, you breathe. And C, you have your circulation by saying, my arms and legs are heavy and warm and feel that happening. You know, we have had patients with migraine headaches, patients with, um, acute anxiety and panic. We've had patients with IBS, severe abdominal pain. And we've got, have, have patients with acute pain in the neck. And these simple techniques, by attending to them and doing them on a repetitive basis, we've had such great results. And I want you to have those great results as well. Now, before I go, I want to talk about the third, the fourth technique. So you have A, arousal, B, breathing, C, circulation. And the circulation, remember my favorite statement, my arms and legs are heavy and warm. You can do that alone as you walk up uh, Main Street or whatever the street is in your town. As you walk, you can just say my arms and legs and practice feeling the blood flowing in your arms and legs. The fourth, or the D now, is differential relaxation, okay? Differential relaxation is something I would like you to practice. You see, whenever you are doing something, like if you are running, you've got to tense your legs, but you don't have to tense your face. If you're typing, you have to tense your fingers, but you don't have to tense your shoulders. So and what happens to many of my patients and what happens to you, I'm going to put my neck on the block here and say that it does happen to you because it happens to me. If you are busy doing something with your hands, you tend to tense your whole body and that tension will wear the cells of your body out. You'll you wear out. You'll get real um, almost oxidative stress. You'll get stressed out that way. So this fourth technique is teaching you to be more cognizant, to be more aware. Whenever you're tensing your fingers from typing, be aware of your shoulders and relax your shoulders. Whenever you're tensing your, for example, you're tensing your legs from running, relax other parts of your body. And an exercise I'd like to give to you is, I would like you to, right now, wherever you are, I'd like you to make a fist with your right hand, not your left, just your right. Make a fist, tighten, tighten, 
Can you feel it? Come on, tighten the right some more. Now, you notice that the left is tightening. Relax the left, but tighten the right. You notice your shoulders are tightening. I didn't ask you to tense your shoulders. Relax your shoulders, but tighten that right fist. Okay, how about your abdomen? A little tight, isn't it? Relax it, but keep the fist tight. This is training the brain, training yourself, so that when you have to be busy doing one thing, using one part of your body, you will relax the other parts of your body. Okay, so you relax the muscles that you don't use and you will have much more refined energy. Okay, so that's A, B, C, D. You've got some fabulous techniques now that you can use, you can take away and put in your survival kit that will help you. The first thing in review we talked about was the sympathetic nervous system and the parasympathetic nervous system, both of them, which make up the autonomic nervous system. We talked about that. And your job, as you leave this webinar, when you finished here, your job is to focus on the parasympathetic nervous system by turning your attention upwards and focusing inside. Do it as I review this for you. Your second thing is to breathe deeply in, and as you breathe out, you focus inwards and you can say the third thing, my arms and legs are heavy and warm. And the last thing is to tense before you relax. And whenever you have to be doing something with one part of your body, relax the other parts of your body. Now, I hope this is helpful for you. Did you get anything from this? If you got something from it, say yeah, because I, I really, really want you to leave here changed. I want you to leave here with the confidence that you can handle whatever life throws at you. You might be going through a divorce, for example. You can handle that. Whatever life throws at you, you can handle that, okay? And I want you to make sure that uh, you now follow me. You know, I, we will have seminars from time to time. And uh, I want you to know that I am going to help you. And I want to help you further. These techniques will help you a lot. But I have um, something that will even help you more. I am going to give you a stress survival kit, which includes three components. Um, the first component is one minute, one minute a day. I want you to listen and look at the video, you know, because I know you're busy, but if you take these videos for one month, one month, and you take these videos and you listen for one minute every day, you'll get new skills and you will deepen the skills that you already learned and stress will soon become a thing of the past for you. So you're going to get 31 minute videos. That's the first component. These one minute videos were, uh, although they are short, they are worked on by a lot of people, by doctors and by uh, a, a research team to show you what will really work to help you. So don't take it lightly. A lot of work will go into these videos. And then uh, I know many, many people who have used these videos. I know one person who came up to me, you know, and said that I am now much, much better off. I am making much more money. I resigned my job and I am doing my own business because of these little videos, the way they re re motivate me every day and give me the techniques to have power in my life. So that's the video. Now that's um, what I would like you to use. Now, the second thing that I'm going to tell you, remember, I'm going to make a 
want you to invest in these three things in yourself. I want you to do these 30 videos and I want you also to listen to a lecture over and over. It's a training and it will train you. It's called the gift of excellence. I want you to give yourself the gift of excellence where you will walk in that path, in the path of excellence. And I can tell you many, many people who have used these. There are many companies that use these. For example, I met one woman who in uh, Indiana listened to this lecture and she listened to it with her whole family. They said at Thanksgiving they wanted to do something wonderful and they listened to this and it changed the dynamic of the family and it changed many, many of the financial standards of the people in the family. I tell you, the treasure is not out there. It is in you. So this is the second thing. The gift of excellence is what I want you to do. And the third thing I want you to... Um, to do, to take up, is um, an offer I'm making to you, which is an offer which many, many, many people are using. Many pharmaceutical reps have used it, and they have increased their income. And it's called stress and performance. So you will get stress and performance, which will help you and improve your performance as a person at work, as a person at home, wherever you are. You will get that confidence that you own your body. You will pay attention to your body and you will learn to upgrade your performance. So this is um, my offer here to you. I want you to know that the gift of excellence alone is over $47. The gift of stress and performance that you can give to yourself is a very, very valuable gift. We've sold it for over $47. And the 30 videos, well, those are invaluable. They've helped millions of people. And I put the best of them together for you. And I want you to know that this offer will cost 100. The, the value of it, the value is over 197. Over 197 dollars. But because I want to hold your hand here, I want to help you to really get these te techniques going. I have lowered the cost of one, the 30, 60 second videos that are researched by doctors and put together for you, plus the gift of excellence, plus stress and performance, all of these together, which will be worth more than $197. I put them together and together you can have them today for $47. This will help to enhance your training in the stress area and it will also help you to boost your brain power and it will give you more fire in your belly as it were. It will, will help you to find your purpose because it's your purpose in life that's really, really important. I want you to order now. I want you to click the button and make sure that you get this before the price goes up, okay? Because the gift of excellence, stress and performance, and 30 videos for 30 days that will really get stress right into your domain and make sure that you can master it. These gifts, as they were, give yourself for only $47. I hope um, everything is going well with you and I want you to make sure that you ask yourself, how much is it worth? How much is it worth for you to master stress? 
How much is it worth for you to get rid of headache when you're under stress? How much is it worth for you to come across as calm and powerful? The techniques I've given you will help you. They will absolutely help you. But I like the opportunity to really get a more in-depth gift to you. And you can do that with $47 by ordering this package now. If you have any questions, you are welcome to ask me anything at all. But right now, I want you to focus on uh, getting these. Okay, and thanks a lot. A lot of people are uh, a lot of people are appreciating the webinar and uh, that has decreased my stress because you know as a person you're always um, you're always kind of wondering how many people you're helping are you really helping because the aim of this is not to make money the aim of this is to help you you see because I have overcome my stress I've managed to become calm. The other day, because of these techniques, um, someone stole a lot of money from me, a huge sum of money. And the first thing I said, I can handle that. And I went out and I made four times that much. You know, you can use the stressors, and that's what's going to happen. If you take this offer, you will find that the stressors in, that come across your life the difficulties, you'll be able to use them as cues, as prompts to create more money in your life, more abundance in your life, more health in your body. You can do that. And I'm so grateful. I have done that. And I have light. And I want you to have light. And I want you to share this. Don't keep this a secret. Please tell people about it. And, and, and Get access to these resources because you will have far more energy in your body. You will have a, a better sense of purpose, I promise you, for your life. You will have a, you'll be more motivated every day. I hear that. People calling me from all parts of the world. You know, my programs have been in London, England, in Spain, all over. And they say that. I have much more energy. I feel much more relaxed. And your romantic relationship will sparkle. You'll find that you're calmer. And when you're calmer, your love life will be better, you see. You will enjoy your love life. You will enjoy your children. And you will enjoy your job. Your boss will notice it. And so go ahead and click and get this offer. And let me quickly review with you that you should now continue to do A, arousal, tense and cure the arousal. B, take a deep breath and breathe and relax and C, watch your circulation by saying, my arms and legs are heavy and warm. I see many people uh, liking this and this offer. I hope that you will not put it off because in the next half hour it's going to be gone so i want you to click and i want you to practice what we've taught you and if you don't have any more questions i'm going to leave it i want you to keep checking and i'll be back with some more insights for you and we'll talk to you again